see something neat? Yeah! Feast your eyes on this! What is it? It's the periodic cabinet! Wait! All the information we found says periodic table, not periodic cabinet. Does a table have drawers, I ask you? I've seen pictures of their periodic tables, and they don't open. Where are the drawers? I don't think they even have atoms in them. So, maybe people have periodic tables, but we clearly have a cabinet. It has every type of atom we know of. Every drawer has a different kind of atom we can use to make molecules. Would a table have drawers filled with every kind of atom? <clears throat> I didn't think so. Okay, okay. Just don't be too set on calling it a cabinet until we get more information. Got it. All the molecules in the universe are made up from these hundred or so types of atoms. Watch what happens when I open up the drawer. What does all that mean? We figured out that the big number has to do with mass, which is sort of like how much it weighs. But not really. Well, that's clear as mud. Mass is the amount of matter in something, and weight depends on gravitational force. If there is no gravity, then there is no weight. But there is always mass. And we're just starting to get an idea that the other numbers are all about relationships. And everyone knows that the key to building a great molecule is a good relationship. Um, let me show you the lightest atom, or least massive. This is hydrogen. It's the simplest of the atoms in our periodic cabinet. I have 48 hydrogen atoms in me. I only have 42. Why the simplest? And what does the number one mean? Well, we've been comparing them for a while now, and it's definitely the lightest. And there's that number one thing. That's what this number one means. It stands for the number of protons in each element. And each element has a different number of protons. How plasmic is that? Another question answered. What type of atom an atom is depends on the number of protons. So gold has 79 protons and is number 79 on the periodic cabinet. Periodic table. Cabinet. Table. Here, catch! <laughs> Catalytic! What do you suppose that was? The burst of light that changed the world? Whatever it was, look what it formed! Here, try it again. Look! They're pulling us together! I can hardly hold on to mine! They're just too... Nine's alive, Kules! Hey, what are you two clowns up to? Greetings, peasants! Welcome back. It's been a while since we've seen you. Yes, we've been out on a hunt. Well, it looks like you haven't stopped your atom foolery. I don't think we've met. I'm Argos, and this is... Dispro. Pleased to meet you, I think. Take a look at this. We unwrapped two hydrogen atoms, and it just sort of happened. Let's see if other atoms will do the same thing. Hmm. This time I choose oxygen. 
Now, unwrap them and throw them towards each other. This is global. They just seem to bond together automatically. Like blackbirds baked in a pie. Baking requires heat. Heat. Do you think heat has something to do with it? I'm not hot. Are you hot? Hot? Who said anything about hot? Covalent bond, sharing electrons. Ionic bond, electron exchange. Bonding is about electrons. Huh? Is about electrons. Bonding is about electrons. <laughs> You're so late. <laughs> At least I'm not boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh.